here in Treviso and Colwyn Bay, where these boys in red have been playing their rugby. And in terms of the temperature of the stadium, we're looking at a sold-out Stadio di Monigo. Giovanni Sante has us underway here in Treviso. And Wales looking to arrest a run of six losses. Cough up possession immediately, but illegally so. First penalty of the The Treviso crowd warned by the forward advance. More penalty advantage. This time, Italy to the back. The Azzarini in the right-hand corner. the scrum penalty and then the forwards just had the patience the patience Batara at number nine is exceptional just keeping patience keeping his forwards working yeah. and then there when the time came to the release the backs and well finished off by Daisy Wells looking good seeking that edge again and here comes Hennessy beautiful dancing feet links up with Bradley no release and Another penalty against Italy. And true to type, he splits the poles. For all the silky passing and fancy footwork that carved out that try, this is a very, very different picture here. Set! Stay high! Stay high! Vanish. More penalty advantage, more opportunity for the Italian wingers, but a brilliant tackle on Bozzoni. That's four penalties. The yellow card. For the sixth time. Right. Set. Stay high. The pressure comes. Wales begin to crumble. Anthony Woodthorpe backpedalling, spins on his heels, and there can only be one outcome. Penalty try. Absolutely, it's Oli, it's not just the front row. As I said, that, that Macaulay and Teresi. Six, six man. Being over eager when they do. The skipper claims it highest. And Morse is a one-man band for Wales at the moment in terms of impressions on the game. Odiaze. Good contest. Taking out two Welsh clearers and really scrappy and disruptive. No. Wales do well to retain the ball. De La Rua. Tackle move! Try and punch it through. And Wales in possession, but remember, down to 14, so looking for holes and finding them with a lovely bit of pass. The support from Hughes. Oh, the Colwyn Bay Globetrotters are in town and they're thrilling in Treviso. That was almost for nothing, but fantastic hands there and just great support play. The feet from Morgan returning to the field, the support from Bradley. And Hughes with the pace to finish the job. Magnificent from the, the Welsh who've been under the pump. And remarkably, it's going to be expended soon. Up goes the captain and down come the Welsh back who go pouring round the corner and slipping and sliding in for... Another! Thank you. Tiring through. A bit of a skip from Kelleher Griffiths. A yellow card in the first half. Amends to be made. Hughes, the try scorer. Wales in the corner. Is the finish brilliant from Houston? So just, just he thinks so. No stress. I've got a grounding on field, so on field try. Just checking the touch, please, mate. Yes, got you, Woody. Yeah. So. In the Stadio Di Monigo waits in anticipation.
Woody, there's no clear touch. Stick I with your on-field you decision. On the fence okay. over there. <laughs> I had to draw you out. Well done. Super. Super. The Stadio Di Monigo on its feet. A chorus of encouragement rings round as the pack go to the power and they go to the line. The Italian forwards. Called into action immediately as well. It is unforgiving from this Italian pack who just want to bludgeon this well defensive line. Advantage played, advantage used, advantage converted. Bonus point for Lutley there, the patience paid off and again that power driving the line, transferring from a scrum, transferring on. Advantage. With a big penalty to take the lead. Dance! No! Guess the spectators cheering a little louder. Can they keep patient? Can they keep patient? And the Welsh defence repel. Odiaze goes for the line. Italy just the purposeful carry away. Or is it a snipe away? Magnificent defence from Wales. Still they repel the Italian onslaught. Oh. Agonising. Advantage of side. They give away a penalty. And they give away the try ultimately. Their result broken. Good substitution, but fantastic defence there for Wales. But Italy just breaking down the resolve eventually. And another close range try. And look how ecstatic the, the teammates are. That's just fantastic. Shown in Sante throughout this championship. And he finally delivers from the tee. So far in the set piece. Pulled that a long time. And the longer they hold on to possession, the closer they get to that maiden 2023 Six Nations victory. And they need to do more than repel. They need the ball. The ball that Italy have, and the ball that Sante sends into the stands and follows it to the touchline, arms aloft.